Hey folks, welcome back. And did I say hey folks? Sorry. Hey folks, welcome back. And how y'all doing? And we're gonna do. A, I want to do a really quick and fast meatloaf tonight. Uh, I want to do it on the charcoal grill on the PK charcoal grill indirect, but I'm gonna do it high heater indirect. It's it's a weekday night, so I want to kind of do it quick. I don't have a lot of time here, so I've just got. Uh, this is a approximately a pound and a half to two and a half to two pounds of. Uh, of, of ground chuck, it's uh, 80-20 to my best knowledge. Uh, I bought it in bulk, and then I used my food saver and made some packages of it, so I can't really remember. I've, I've got uh, about a couple of uh, Italian-style breadcrumbs in there. I've got, uh, that's how simple things are tonight. I don't even have time to, to do any, uh, to slice up any fresh celery onion, so I just bought some from the store, nice and convenient. Like, I uh, did put... Uh, like a teaspoon or tablespoon of French's Worcestershire sauce in there. Um, I've got a good half a cup of thick and saucy hot salsa in there. Um, put a little seasoning in there. I'm using this Weber Smoky Brown Sugar Rub. Now, folks, this is nice stuff, but you got to be really careful with this stuff because that's strong. The smoke, smoke smell is strong in this stuff. So what I do then is I pack it into a pack it into a bowl, and then. Uh, just uh, show you how I transfer here. I'm going to transfer on a cookie sheet, which I will then transfer onto the grill. And uh, hopefully, I did this a while ago. Oh, and there it comes out. Okay, that was a close one. And uh, then we're just going to want to take and uh, put a couple slices of bacon on top of it like that. Uh, nice and pretty like, like such. And then onto the PK it's going to go, and uh, see you down at the grill. Well, hey, folks, we're down at the grill. You can see our temp is right around 300, a little over 300. Been on for about 20 minutes now. Give you a look, see how we're doing with our setup on the PK is uh, indirect. Uh, there's four vents, two on the top, two in the bottom. Our fire is over on this side, so we've got the bottom one open, top one closed. Our meat's over on this side, so the bottom one's closed, top one's open. Let's take a quick look. Oh yeah, look at that already. Looking mighty nice. I've got a Kingsford on the right side there. And uh, we're going to close this back up because, like I said, uh, just looking to do a quick cook here. And uh, I, I'm going to take it up to 145. Not sure how long it's going to take, but we'll give you a look see as it progresses. Well, hey, folks, it's been about an hour and a half now. The temp on the PK, I'll tell you what, that's really cool. Once you get this thing dialed in, it is maintained 300 to 3 and a quarter the entire way through. So... Let's, uh, we're going to use our thermal pop here to uh, take a temp. And oh man, look at, look at, our, uh, look at our meatloaf there. So you, uh, can you see there? It is, believe it or not, it is saying, I want you to see that. It's saying that it's 147-ish, right in there. So we're going to let this go just for a minute or two more, and then we're going to pull it, wrap it, and let it rest for maybe five minutes and, or ten minutes, and then it'll get up to 160 all by itself. So we'll show you when it's all ready to eat. Thanks. For well, that. hey, folks, there's our meatloaf. Oh, man, look at that. That was like an hour and a half on the PK. It was like 300 to 325. Turned out great. I got some Texas toast that I used on the PK over the over the grills. You can see the uh, you see the oh man, uh, there's nothing like a meatloaf sandwich. Would you like me to take a bite? Oh, that's delicious. It really is. For something that I just threw together, that, that, that's very nice. Um, folks, uh, <laughs> hope you enjoyed this. Tom Horseman on YouTube. Don't forget about letstalkbarbecue.com. A lot of these ideas I get come from letstalkbarbecue.com. And you know what? If you're on Facebook and you have a PK grill or you're thinking about a PK grill, uh, PK, uh, I think it's called PK Fanatics on Facebook. Uh, Great group of people, uh, I tell you what, really nice people, and um, you you would enjoy being on the, their Facebook page. 
Uh, and as always, folks, you know what? I say this all the time. You say, why is he saying that all the time? I, I, I say it because I really, I really mean it. I appreciate you watching. Thank you.